Well, the fifth and final season of Dynasty is upon us. And there are at least two things that fans can count on. The cast will be <laughs> fabulously dressed, and there will be loads of drama. Me? I didn't set this up. Well, Jeanette told me to meet you here so we could go to the spa. That's exactly what she told me. Alexis. Alexis. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, I see. Jeanette did her job perfectly. <sighs> Hans. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, unlock these doors, please. No, no. It is time for a road trip. Road trip? This isn't funny. No, it's actually quite serious because if you're going to continue to see me as selfish and uncaring towards my children, well, I'm just going to have to show how wrong you are. By torturing us? No. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, family is everything on the show, and we have family of our own in the house this morning. Our CW family member, actress, singer, songwriter, Eliza Bennett. Good morning, Eliza. Hello. Oh, so How good. are you? Great, great. So great to have you on. So you play Amanda Carrington, correct? I do. And in that I clip do. we saw, woo, there is some mother-daughter <laughs> drama. What's going on there? Yeah, we got a lot of uh, mother-daughter drama coming up on tonight's episode, actually. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's never an easy ride when Alexis is in it, so... That's the first time I've seen that clip, though. It's funny. Oh. Well, tell us about your character and how she fits in the Dynasty family tree. Yeah, so Amanda Carrington came in sort of as a long-lost daughter that Alexis had kept a secret for her whole life. So she comes in sort of as a, as a new family member, um, and she has to try and work out how to sort of fit in and, and to make allies and some enemies with certain family members. Uh, but yeah, she's very ballsy. She's very fiery, as most of them uh, are in the Carrington family. But yeah, I think she's fitting quite well. Yeah. So how much did you know about the show before you were cast into this one? Well, the show's, the show's actually really big in England. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'd heard about it um, a lot from people I have a few friends that watch it and then uh, yeah and then I watch some of the old stuff to see sort of the original Amanda yeah. Carrington um, and then yeah and then I honestly got thrown in I got cast and, and I was on set like within a week wow. wow and speaking of drama there are just a few more episodes left so what can you tell us about the final episode oh goodness well we have a lot of storylines to wrap up and a lot of relationships when it comes in terms of amanda uh it's a lot about sort of her relationship with kirby who's sort of been like you know someone that she's fallen in love with unexpectedly and what their future looks like so i don't think i can say any more than that but that's kind Without of where uh, amanda is sort of stubborn <laughs> exactly yes what's it like though shooting those final scenes saying goodbye to everyone yeah, it's emotional. A lot of the crew had been on the show for the full five years. So, you know, I was, I've only been there a year and a half, but it, it, it's emotional saying goodbye to a show. And um, I, I was just really proud to be a part of um, this sort of legacy that they've left. And yeah. five seasons is a huge, a huge amount. So yeah, that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it was just an honor, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now that the show is coming to an end, you'll have more time for your music. Uh, in fact, I think we have one of your songs to listen to. You seem to be continually like a song. Hate to love you, yes, I hate to love you. Broken dreams, and yet you make my Okay, Miss Eliza. <laughs> Sounding good there. Uh, that was beautiful. Thank you. What sort of music are you working on? Uh, well, so this EP that's coming up is a real mixture of, um, it's kind of pop singer songwriter. Um, a lot of it is music I wrote in my hotel room when I was starting Dynasty, and I had no friends, and I didn't know anyone, and so and I was jet lagged, and so I used to write until like 1 a.m. And a lot of this music came from that time, actually. Wow! How many songs are going to be on the new EP? There'll be five songs. Five. Okay. Is it all for like personal stories, mostly? Yeah, they're kind of a real snapshot of like my 20s honestly and um sort of lots the kind of five cornerstones that felt like they really defined my uh 20s whether that was like moving to a new city or ending a bad relationship mm. or um or just starting therapy for the first time honestly wow. one of them is about that <laughs> so yeah so it's a real kind of like five different spots in the last decade all right well we can also see you in an upcoming movie uh tell us about it what's it called and who do you play Yes, Do Revenge is uh, coming out actually the same day that Dynasty ends on the 19th of September. 
Um, and that is created by Jennifer Caton Robinson, who I did the show Sweet Vicious with, and I had the pleasure of being able to come and sort of cameo on the movie. But um, it's a teen revenge story with Maya Hawke and Cami Mendez, um, and it's it's going to be one to watch. Wow, you can do it all. That's amazing. So what's next for you beyond that? You've got music, you've got acting. What can't you do, Eliza? Oh, I can't paint. I'm terrible at I'm, I'm terrible at lots of things, I promise you. I'm only showing you the stuff I'm good at. Uh, right now I'm actually in Liverpool in England shooting a Paramount Plus show called Sexy Beast uh, based on the 2000s movie. So um, that's what I'm working on for like the next six months. Oh, oh, wow. Wonderful. All right. Well, Eliza, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. It was great speaking with you. And don't forget to check out the last few episodes of Dynasty right here on PIX11 on Friday night.